Please welcome Samsung's Corporate Vice President, Zheng Yu Park. Who knows what the future will bring? For many of us, future brings uncertainty. At Samsung Electronics, we see our role as providing a, a level of certainty for the future. And we believe we've got a trend record that shows we are up to the task. My name is Jong Kyu Park, Vice President of Samsung Memory. Today, I will tell you about the challenges and our st strategy. As you know, Samsung has yeah, continuously invested on the, in the open source technology, especially the OCP. But first, let me briefly recap the history, our effort in open source. We are convinced that the open technology ecosystem is a crucial resource for solving problems and pursuing innovation. We started developing open technology from 2015, and then started actively participating in the OCP in 2019. This was Samsung's adoption case. Of those four years, we focused on building, understanding, and consensus on open source technology. Then came growth phase from 2020 to 2022. We formed a dedicated organization and contributed to the ecosystem's development. Our fruitful collaboration with OCP's community led to achievements like the Poseidon reference system, mass production of OCP-inspired SSDs, and leadership in the FTI and sustainability. This progress has brought great pride and responsibility among OSP members. Now we are in 2023, a pivotal moment for Samsung. Through our ecosystem, all the achievements and experience are often shared with our customers and partners. The innovation and value generated from this cycle will benefit all of us here. We've dubbed this the diffusion phase. Samsung has established three important strategies for open innovation. The first, building on an open platform for collaboration. In line with our effort to build an open platform for collaboration, we opened the Korea's the first OCP experience center back in July. It stands at the heart of the Samsung in Korea. George, CEO of the OCP, was kind enough to be there with staff members at the opening ceremony. What an honor, thank you. The Experience Center is not a place just to experience the Samsung's product and technologies. It will also be a platform where partners, OCP members, and scholars can gather and have honest discussion and find a solution together. As for second strategy, founding the APEC community energized global collaboration, adding a big puzzle, big piece of puzzle in the Asian region. To start, the very first OSP APEC Tech Day was held in Korea on July 1st this year. We see great potential as we look forward to connecting American and European communities with the leadership of the OCP. We aim to discover innovative technologies that are specific to the APEC region, especially on semiconductor manufacturers and system and component makers and data centers. Our vision is to leverage the region's advantage 
to boost the open innovation ecosystem, serving as a genuine hope in the globe. And lastly, value chain collaboration for sustainability. We are working to ensure sustainability across our industrial supply chain. The OCP Sustainability Project will play an important role in this collaboration. We pledged our participation in, in the 2022 initiative and are getting ready for the future. Samsung has built a solid technological foundation through our deep understanding and diverse participation in open collaboration. And we aim to work with you to overcome present and future challenges. Here are challenges. Data-driven technologies are undoubtedly experiencing rapid growth. Data requirements for large-scale language processing applications are increasing exponentially. The growth of AI is in stark contrast to memory capacity, which merely doubles every year. This phenomenon has, has created a huge gap between data processing capability and physical capacity. It results in inefficiencies in the data center and new challenges for the memory industry, namely bandwidth, capacity, latency, and power consumption. But it doesn't end there. The increasing amount of power required to process data is putting a huge strain on the environment. By 2030, data centers are expected to consume 15.6 times as much power as they did 2020. Combined with the data, uh, the climate crisis, this creates the greatest challenge facing sustainable technology development. So, what is Samsung doing? As a leader in memory industry, Samsung is striving to develop total solution across the entire the vertical memory. Many of you are familiar with the HBM, DDR memory, and CXL devices. And here, we have PBSSD. The petabyte scale SSD is a fruitful futuristic solution designed to respond to challenges the memory faces. In the AI era, the data centers themselves will act like a computer, and a storage system acts as a single big SSD. This is what PBSSD is for. It exemplifies the vision of Samsung, improving data center operation with ultra high density, high performance, and high efficiency storage and power management. The PBSSD combines Samsung's cutting edge buoy and device technology and enhances system density as approximately 30%. With specialized power management, it uses about 20% rest power. Ultimately, the PBSSD will help to improve the TCO in data centers and alleviate environmental impact. We are also devoting ourselves to researching innovation packaging technologies. I would like to invite Vincent, the head of the DSRA AVP, to introduce Samsung's packaging strategies. Everyone, please give Vincent a warm welcome. Thank you, John Gius. Hi, uh, my name is Vincent. I'm leading the advanced packaging team in US. I will explain how we can improve the memory bandwidth, latency, and the energy efficiency with the advanced packaging. 
in package die design, so performance and the power bandwidth costs are driving the die package design to 3D. In 3D, also another trend is the design granule is getting smaller and smaller. So in mobile design, the package devices are stacked on top of each other. In HBC, we plan to integrate the memory dies on top of the logic die, which is the die level. In heterogeneous integration, a die will be split and the merged with advanced packaging with a different silicon node, which is the block or chip level. It may go down to IP level in the future. The advanced packages provide better, is a bigger packages and the more mobile connections. So in that sense, and the advanced package will bring better bandwidth, capacity, latency, and the lower power consumption to the memories. So currently, the AI HP machines are using 2.5D packaging based on the silicon interposers. So in the future, we expect the 2.5D package will evolve to 3D packaging for more memory bandwidth and energy efficiency. So the 3D memory would uh, provide a lower power consumption by 40% and a lower latency by 10% compared to the 2.5D packaging. But we need to solve thermal design issues in 3D packaging. In 3D packaging, there are two types of packaging technologies. One is a micro bump using thermal compression bonding, and the other is a bump release using hybrid copper bonding. The micro bump packaging is already in mass production and has been used in HBM since 2016. However, bump release packaging provides finer pitch than the micro bump, so the more connections are possible. So for this reason, bump release packaging could increase bandwidth by 40 to 115 times while also having a shorter distance, low power consumption, and being also lead free. Uh, and that's not all. It also provides better thermal performance and 30% higher die powers. So our next stop is a chip rate, and the tiny chips that can be as small as a grain of sand. In heterogeneous integration, Samsung is a strong supporter for open chip rate economy. Our advanced packaging portfolio includes silicon interposer packaging and the cost-effective silicon breach packages. In silicon interposer packaging, we support four times HBM size, eight times HBM size, 12 times HBM size. For widespread, widespread use of advanced packaging, we are developing cost-effective packaging solutions. So IQBE is that the one example. IQBE use a panel-level interposer packaging integrating silicon bridges. Compared to the silicon interposers, the packaging cost can go down by 22%. It can support the bigger package size than the four times reticles with a similar signal and the power integrated performance. In order to overcome the memory challenges, we will work together with the companies in OCP. We will collaborate with the design, IP, EDP, OCA companies within open ecosystem we will deliver advanced packaging platforms to promote open chip rate economy. We will support CDXML, D2D protocols, and the chip rate development. Thank you very much. I'll pass back to Jung Good. Thank you, Vincent. Today, we will explore the Samsung's broad strategy to drive open innovation and collaboration. The path ahead is exceptionally clear. We will for sure enhance the collaboration with various stakeholders across the company and sector boundaries. Together, we can discover the essential technologies and pioneer a sustainable future. Please explore the full Samsung memory product lineup at our booth. You can see the PBSSD an ultra-high capacity, 256 terabyte SSD, and more for stand. Also, a quick and important reminder, we are here at the OSB Global Summit yeah, this Friday. Here at SACC, you will witness more of Samsung's leadership in memory technology on Samsung Tech Day. I hope to see you then. Thank you. <laughs>